So today I will teach you how to download offline map or even how to use the offline map on your Google map. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do so and then I'm going to start this. And this is actually quite important because if you went to this uh, went, to, went to this one area, there's no signal, there's no Wi-Fi and you have not you don't even have enough data. This is a way to save your life. And I tried this before when I was in the state and it's actually pretty pretty good because when I was in Canada and I don't have enough data, or I don't have roaming and then when I go to the state or like say Seattle I can use my offline map to navigate back home so it's actually quite easy to do and then you have to do updates every single um, a month or two they will tell you oh let's just do an update and then you just need to do some updates and then it will work again and then from the previous version now the offline map you can get as big as you want now back then there's a limit size um, maybe like I don't know 500 megabyte now you can go up to like 1 gig or 2 gig as big as you want as long as it makes sense for them then they will allow you to download offline map so now I'm going to teach you how to do this it's actually quite simple so right now I'm going to turn on my screen recording and then I'm going to show you how you can do offline map so now we're going to go into Google map and when you go to Google map remember there is a few things you need to understand so when you go on Google map there is um, your profile okay you have to log in your profile once you log in your profile then you can actually download offline map let's just say if you go on offline map and let's just say you are still in this within this area Google map will use your offline map instead of, of your real map unless you want traffic unless you want like detour then they will do it for you or else they actually will be using your offline map even though in the city even you have a Wi-Fi even you have data they will still use your offline map and that's how it works so when you look at this uh, this screen right here I'm using like the full six um, the first thing you have to do is you have to go to the icon and then you scroll down and then you see offline map once you see the offline map you can select your own map so I'm going to select my own map and this is telling you this is how you want to drag so this little square is basically your offline map you can squeeze as big as you want and then at the bottom here download will use up to 70 megabyte all right so remember what I said as long as it makes sense then Google map will basically help you to download everything back then you cannot even do this so let's just say you can see this right right now I'm in within Canada I can download the map all the way down to Seattle okay Squamish down to Seattle is only 400 megabyte and it's already quick uh, pretty big okay consider like the size okay so you can see this now let's just say this is what I want and you press download once you download then they will basically download the whole entire map if you want to update they will actually update for you as well too you don't have to press anything they will do update by themselves and then map will be updated over Wi-Fi so you can see this right so if you're on data they are not going to update for you but if they are on uh, Wi-Fi they will update for you no problem and they will be saying that expire October 6 2026 unless unless you update it all right so you can see that so expiry date within a year so you just need to take some time at the bottom here you can see map 1 is downloading 17% 18% 19% so you can see all this so now when you see this you can see you can tap home you can see this is the area that I was downloading offline map and then you don't have to activate anything you don't have to say oh I have to press certain thing it won't you don't have to do that once you turn on your Google map even though you have no Wi-Fi or data they will the map will, will be still going you just punch in whatever the location you want to go they will actually bring you to that locations and that's it and this is how you how to use offline map on your google map all right so please subscribe my channel and share this video and i hope you understand the concept of having a 
offline map it's just because that sometimes if you go camping if you go on like a trip that road trip that, that they don't have signal this is the way to go for or even you go on traveling to other countries you can actually download their offline map as well too and very very simple to use all right and i will see you next time bye bye peace out